I am AshmeAble12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to block certain browsers. Now this is similar to my detect browser video so if you've not seen that go watch it or just stick around because I will explain everything that I explained in the other video so it doesn't really matter I suppose because we're going to go through the same steps as detecting but then add just something a little else on the end. So first of all what I've done is in PHP I've created a variable called browser ID and that's um, Dawn's called server HTTP user agent which basically gets the um, the browser's code I suppose um, and I've just echoed that onto Pato. In Firefox we have this and to distinguish Firefox we have Firefox in there, same with Internet Explorer, we have MSIE. Um, now Google Chrome and Safari use the same WebKit, so um, they are very similar and therefore if we go into Google Chrome, we actually get Safari in the Google Chrome's HTTP user agent. So if we go into Safari, as you can see, we just get Safari there and no Chrome because um, Chrome uses Apple's WebKit to actually for for their browser. So suppose Google Chrome and Safari, um, pretty much the same browser, I suppose. And um, so anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to do what I done with my website, sort of, is to block Internet Explorer. So first of all, we're going to put in here if str which is um, string position so if anywhere in browser ID contains MSIE remember this is case sensitive then we're going to um, I suppose kill the script off because we don't want it to run and say um, but actually I'll just echo it just keep things uh, oops I'm not very good at typing again today. Um, echo um, Internet Explorer is not allowed. Else, echo your browser is okay. Um, so if we go into Firefox, we get your browser is okay. Um, Google Chrome, your browser is OK. Safari, your browser is OK. And lastly, Internet Explorer, we get Internet Explorer is not allowed. So now to actually block multiple ones. So because Google Chrome and Safari are similar, um, I'm going to now block Firefox. Um, so what we could do is instead of creating another if statement, we can basically just put um, a or so two um, of the character next to Z. I'm not sure what they're called. So str position. So if anywhere in browser ID equals Firefox, and I'm not sure if it's got that. So if we just echo that out there. If I just get rid of all this for now. Um, it's actually just one capital on the F. Okay. Okay. So now, if we go into Google Chrome, refresh, we get your browser is okay. It's Firefox is okay. Internet Explorer, we still get Internet Explorer is not allowed. And as you can see, if we refresh this, we still get Internet Explorer is not allowed because we're going through this so basically what we can say is this browser is not allowed so as you get this browser not allowed this browser not allowed but Google Chrome and Safari um, is okay so that's how to simply block certain browsers it's pretty simple you just use an if statement and what I do with the Able 12 website is at the top of every page I basically have 
Um, so if we just ignore all this for now, at the top of every page I basically have a require um, check browser.php. It's not exactly that, but it's similar. So I might want to give away everything. Um, and basically in that page contains something like this but instead of an else um, it's just the if like that with um, I think it's die I'm not sure one second I'll actually have a look yes it is um, a die so instead so basically I have an else here and basically it's die so it will basically kill the script from running so nothing else will happen so just to show you what I mean by that if we put in just some text down here text there as you can see in, um, we get um, might need to put html what was that? HTML. Uh, all right. Ah, that's why. So, text again um, is because I've put die on the wrong one. So basically, we can get rid of this else. Change this echo to die, and then in Google Chrome we get text, Safari we get text, and then in Text Explorer we get this browser is not allowed. And you see how text is not actually shown. And the same with um, Google uh, Firefox, text is not actually shown, and this is shown. And also in the source code, as you can see, nothing else has run apart from that one line of code. So it's very powerful tool to use, but and very easy to use at the same time. So that's how to block certain browsers. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.